This is David James for Life, the Basic Manual. Thunderstorm going on behind me. What to do in a thunderstorm if you're hiking? Well, first thing to do, don't go out if you know it's going to be stormy. We stayed in today, we knew this was going to happen, so we missed it. But if you're out on the trail, there's a couple of things that you can do to help yourself. If you're in open ground, head for lower ground, head for a valley, something that makes you a smaller target. If you're in trees, if there's trees around, stay away from the tall ones. Hang out where the smaller ones are, the taller ones are a bit further away. If you can, get into a building, but if it's a, a wooden shack, it's not any good, no, no good at all. If it's a regular building, stay away from the power outlets, the metal windows, concrete fireplaces, chimneys, and uh, stay away from the walls. If you're in a vehicle, you're pretty safe. If you're in a metal vehicle, don't lean against the sides of the vehicle. Keep the windows tightly wound up. Don't touch anything metal inside. I'm stood next to a concrete chimney here, which isn't really an ideal place to be. Um, the price of my art. The other thing is if you actually get in the centre of the storm and you can't get out of the way, you'll start to feel the electricity in the air. Your hair will stand on end if you've got any and uh, you'll feel a definite electric charge in the air. If that happens and you think lightning's going to strike, crouch down on the floor, put your hands over your ears, feet together and stay on the balls of your feet but make sure your heels are together. If the lightning hits and it's not quite hitting you and it's within a certain distance, what will happen is it'll set up a voltage differential on the surface of the ground. And if your legs are apart, the voltage on one leg is gonna be different from the other. And that voltage will push charge up one leg and down the other. So make sure you got your legs together. Make sure your feet are together, crouch down, make the smallest, possible target. Uh, the other thing is you can count in seconds to see how far away it is. Three seconds is a kilometer, five seconds is a mile. From that flash of lightning that's about four seconds so it's within a mile of where I am. Reasonably safe but you know what as I'm saying that statement I realize it's not true. If you can hear the light, if you can hear the thunder the lightning can land where you are. It doesn't necessarily follow that it's right underneath where it's making the noise. It can occur anywhere. So if you hear it, get out of the way. I'm going in. I'll see you later.